I am Anil Kumar and now let us practice how to multiply with rows and columns. You can pause the video, copy these numbers, multiply them and check with my answer. So we will multiply each of the following using rows and columns method. I hope you remember. So when we say 2 times 4, we will treat 2 as number of rows and 4 as number of columns. You know you can interchange also, right? But in any case, we'll treat the first number as rows and the second as columns. Rows are horizontal. 2 times 4. 2 rows times 4 columns. So we can draw 2 horizontal lines, that is 2 rows. And 4 columns means 4 vertical lines. And then we need to count at how many points do they cross. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And therefore 2 times 4 is equal to number 8, right? Now let's do 3 times 5. So 3 is number of rows, horizontal lines, 1, 2, 3. And 5 is number of columns, vertical lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What we need to do now? Count number of points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the points are 15. 3 times 5 is 15, correct? So the two lines always intersect at a point, correct? 5 times 1, that is tricky. 5 rows means 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And just 1 column. 1 column means 1 line, right? 1 vertical line. Lines intersect at a point. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5 times 1 is equal to 5. This is such a simple and interesting technique, right? You can use two different colors as I did and then draw rows with the number as first column and number of columns be the second number and get your answer. So practice and find out answer for what is 2 times 5, what is 5 times 3 and what is 1 times 4. I hope you are finding it interesting and learning at the same time. Thank you.